guys, it's Jeff Cavalier from AthleanX.com, and you may not recognize the guy that I got standing next to me here, but this is Tom Wisniewski, and what Tom is, is Tom is somebody that took advantage of the Athlean Live opportunity to come down here to Connecticut and spend a day with me, an entire day, and train and go over his nutrition and customize everything about his fitness, and so much so that we actually came up with a workout for him that we're going to put on his channel. This is his starring moment here, so I hope he doesn't get too nervous, but we're going to come up with a workout Specifically for a problem area that Tom had, you tell, tell me and tell everybody out there, what was it that you wanted to work? Well, I had, a, uh, unfortunately, I don't have a, a really developed chest, so I really wanted to focus on the, uh, the outer part of my pecs uh, and the lower part of my pecs and the inner part of my pecs. <laughs> so the whole pec. The whole pec. Get some good definition. Um, I'm not a really big guy, so I know I can't really have a really large chest, so I just really wanted to go for definition, so I was looking for that today. And I think what, what what's key about what he says, a lot of you guys I know have written to me and asked about this kind of workout, and it's actually cool that I can do it with somebody because it's you know, you'll be able to relate, relate to it more than had I just gotten up there and done it myself. But the the ability to show and he's got a bit of a, a big rib cage too, so to be able to show off the chest by working on these outer areas is going to make it stand up. So what we do is I'm going to take you right over to the board here. We came up with a customized workout form. I call it the chest chiseler workout. We're going to do it in a circuit format. Now basically if you look up here, we're going to do dumbbell, we're going to do this in a circuit. Dumbbell decline bench to work the lower half here. Then into chin tuck dips. I'm going to show you why that's important. And before you start yelling about not having this equipment, if you have a corner in your kitchen of, of, counter, of counter space, you can, do it. you can do dips. You don't need a dipping bar that we're going to use. A physio wall push up plus. Again, I'm going to explain while we're going through it why that plus portion is important for getting uh, developing the lower pec area. Vertical tubing crossovers. You know, I like to do things unique here and, and, and pretty cool. You're going to like that one and you're going to love this one too. It actually became Tom's favorite, I think, when we went through it. So, the ISO pec sculptor at the end. So, we're going to get started right away. Let's cut, head right over here to the decline bench. Sounds good. Let's do it. Grab, grab your weights. Get in position. I'll just coach them through. This is, I like to actually do this on. So I get a break from the workout this week. <laughs> so, going to do about 10 or 12 reps here. Again, decline bench press. What it's going to do is going to work more on that lower pec line. So, if you're not used to doing it, you're going to see a big improvement in this lower pec line by doing declines. Most people don't do them. Um, they either don't have the ability to do it or they, uh, they don't like being upside down, you know, with their head, their head kind of down. Nice. But he's okay with it. So, no problem. We work the decline, and he's doing it just like a regular bench press. So again, we're going to do this in, in circuits. Ideally, I take him through this three times. Today, to keep this video somewhat brief, we're going to do it one time through. So you're going to put them right down, and head right over to the gym station over here for the chin tuck dips. So now, come on up in here. What he's going to do with the dip here? There's two ways you can do a dip. You can do it straight up vertical, which is going to work your triceps more, or like Tom just did, he leaned forward in order to give him more of a, uh, of a pec involvement, lower pec involvement. Now this chin tuck actually stretches the fibers throughout the chest a little bit more, so he gets a little bit more out of it. And this is completely different than what you're used to, right? Yes. So that tuck in the chin as far in as you can, and leaning that forward and working through here. Again, 10 reps, 12. To failure, really, regardless, you know, maybe you only get eight out. All right, so now, how are you hanging in, okay? Yeah, oh yeah. We're right into the physio ball push-up plus. So you're going to start up over here. Okay. You know, walk yourself out in that direction or right there. Good. Now, what this plus portion does is it works with here and then push through it, okay? Come down. Once you're at the top, push through, blast through your shoulder blades. What that does is it works the serratus, you know, that people have written in here before, and ask me if I breathe through the gills that I have over here. That's where you get those guys. You get the serratus muscles that I actually get developed, and it's going to cause that illusion of the muscle shredding sort of in through here, which is going to make the chest stand out a little bit more. So what we've done here, and also what Tom's doing, he's doing some altered grip you know, variations just to change up the muscle fibers, you know, shock them a little bit. So again, he would do this the second time through, he might alter his hands up the other direction. All right, you still doing okay? Oh, yeah, good. Right, good. So now we come right in here. We grab two tubings. This is the, the vertical tubing crossover. You hang them over a pull-up bar. So I'm only asking you to have tubing, a pull-up bar, and a ball. All right? You come in here. You set them both up. Grab them from the top. He's going to head down to his knees. Let his elbows lead the way. He's going to come down in a vertical press. So it's sort of like a variation of the dip. 
but a vertical press and then crossover. So you're going to develop sort of the, we all see guys doing the crossovers in the gym, you know, for the middle portion of the chest, but when you come down and then cross it over, you're really working from the outside portion to the lower portion of the chest. Now what you can also throw in, and he's doing here, is a little bit of a crunch at the bottom, so you can tie in the abs as well. So he's going to go for about 10 or 12 here. Good, good job. Now we're going to take one off, head to the last exercise. Got it? And we're going to just anchor it around the, uh, the bar. Again, if you only have a pull-up bar, you can anchor it up top. But right here we have the luxury of having something a little bit more at the level. Put it across. Going to walk out. Hand comes down. This is the ISO pec sculptor. I'm going to duck under here for a sec. He's going to use his outside arm here. Nope, you're going to go with the outside this way and come across. Mm -hmm. right? So you're going to come like that. There you go. Come out a little bit more. There you go. So he's got his arm out to the side. He's basically doing another low version of a crossover, but it's a real different exercise. I've seen this done with a dumbbell before. Looks easy, but it's tough. But you can it's see, tough. you can see how this area is you know, is getting the, the majority of the stress. You know, if it got too easy, he could put two bands there and work on two bands. Good. And now what he's doing is actually demonstrating a one and a half rep. So he comes across one full rep, halfway back, and then back across. That would be his one and a half reps. If you want to talk about adding extra stress to the muscle. That's one way to do it. So now he went through his full, you know, that's one full circuit. We would go through again, and he'd work on the other side, and we'd go through it, you know, that, that whole way. Now, what I want you guys to notice here is that, again, with Athlean X, it doesn't have to be long, boring workouts. You let yourself go through, he's a busy guy. How many kids do you have? I have four kids, 35 years old, soccer, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, very busy. Yeah. Not a lot of time. And the average, the average guy with, with, with a bunch of commitments. The Athlean X program can't be a commitment to them. And one thing you'll start to see, guys, and I hope you realize what we did here today, we did specialize in on the chest. That said, I want you to know that coming up in this new version of Athlean X that we discussed actually today, we're heading towards what you guys have asked for, targeted training. It's the targeted nuclear training series, Athlean X TNT, and we're going to start devoting entire workouts to just these areas and how, to do, and how you can do them at home with minimal equipment and how you can do them at the gym. But this is sort of a sneak preview of what we're, what we're going to talk about. But again, I want to thank Tom for, A, having the courage to come up and show himself on, on camera. He's a fit guy, but I mean, not everybody. It's not for everybody. Uh, he did a great job. And uh, he really, I want him to serve as an inspiration for everybody out there that thinks, oh, well, only, you know, Jeff is in, you know, this, this is what he does for a living. That's, that's his, his whole life. And, you know, yes, that's what I do for a living, but this is a guy, a living, breathing example of somebody that has a lot of other stuff going on, and he doesn't just have all day to be in the gym. So, Athlean X is appropriate for anybody. But again, I want to thank you for coming by. And, thank you very uh, much. Great, Appreciate great it. Great job. And if you out there, if we do make this opportunity available again, you know, make sure you, you, you fill out your application, send it in, and maybe you'll be the next guy standing here in the Xbox doing the workout. We'll be back here again real soon with another great workout. Thanks, guys.